Okay, in this video, we are going to be looking into decoding keypads and switch arrays using a microcontroller. Now, the microcontroller that we're going to be using is that Mega 320P microcontroller, which is on the Arduino Nano. Now, you're probably familiar with these kind of keypads. They're very common. The one on the left is a 4x3 keypad, and the one on the right is a 4x4 keypad. Now, these are matrix keypads. They're set up as a matrix, a row and column matrix. So, if I wanted to decode this keypad, a 4x4 matrix keypad, I would use the 74C922 keypad decoder IC, which would take the burden off the microcontroller. But that IC is uh, fairly expensive and, and becoming obsolete. So we're going to be using a microcontroller to decode this uh, keypad. So we need eight GPIO lines on the microcontroller, four set up as outputs, which would be driving the rows, and four set up as inputs, which would be receiving, reading the columns. So if I press a button on the keypad, button here it would short a row and column together and the input GPIO pins would decode that and know which button I'm pressing. But in this video we're going to look at another technique it's called Charlie Plexing and it was invented by a fellow named Charlie Allen who worked for Maxim Integrated. So in this video we're going to have a look at Charlie Plexing and how we, de how we can decode keypads and switch arrays. Okay here's my setup to demonstrate Charlie Plexing. So I have 12 push button switches mounted on my breadboard. So this is button number 1, this is button number 2, and it goes all the way down to button number 12. Now these 12 push button switches will be decoded by the Arduino Nano using 4 GPIO lines. You can see them here, 1, 2, 3, 4. I also have 4 LEDs, these are output LEDs, and they will display which push button is being pressed. Now I'm decoding 12 push button switches using 4 GPIO lines. Now if I would use 5 lines, I could decode 20 switches. If I use 6 lines, I could decode 30 switches. And if I use 8 GPIO lines, I could decode 56 switches. As opposed to my 16 switches on my 4x4 matrix, I'm using 8 GPIO lines to decode 16 switches. But by using Charlie Plexing, if I use 8 GPIO lines, I could actually decode 56 switches. Now this is possible because on an Arduino Nano, the GPIO outputs can be configured as inputs or outputs on the fly. So by using this technique we could actually decode 56 switches using Charlie Plexing. Okay here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard with the 12 push button switches. And you can see there's four banks of three switches each. So there's bank 1, bank 2, bank 3, and bank 4. And each bank has a diode associated with it. Now on bank 1 we have three switches that are common together on one side connected to the diode and that goes down to the GPIO pin. So if we ground this side of the diode which is pin 8, go down to the bottom is pin 8, so we make pin 8, GPIO pin 8 an output and we make it low, so we ground this side, so th th this will be grounded right here, th these three switches on this side. Now if we don't press any push buttons and we read the three buttons, the three push button outputs, We'll have, we'll have highs there, we'll have, five, we'll have 5 volts because of the pull-up resistor in, the, in our Arduino Nano. But if we, if we push the push button, well, this point will go low and that will be read by the GPIO. So we go from bank to bank, so we ground this side, we read 3 of the switches, then we go to the second bank and we ground this side of the diode and we read 3 switches and we do that for all 4 banks in a round robin scheme. So if you look at the bottom, we start out, we ground pin 8, so we pin 8 as an output, we ground it, then we read 9, 10, and 11. Then on the next bank, we ground pin 9, we make it an output, and then we read 8, 10, and 11. Then we ground pin 10, and we read 8, 9, and 11. And then we ground pin 11, and we, and we read 8, 9, and 10. Now by doing this, we could read all the buttons, all 12 buttons on, on, the, on the matrix, using Charlie Plexing. Okay, I have my Nano powered up and running my program to decode the 12 push button switches. So when I press and hold the push button switch, we'll get an indication on the four LEDs indicating which button has been pressed. Now we have to count in binary. So we have four LEDs. The LED in the very left is your most significant bit and the LED in the very right is your least significant bit. And it's weighted 1, 2, 4, 8. So we can count in binary. So if I press and hold button number 1, so you get a 1, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
So there we decoded all 12 push buttons. Come back down. Using Charlie Plexing. Okay, here's the code running on my Nano. And it's written in Flashforth. And I've broken the code into four words. Block 1, Block 2, Block 3, and Block 4, where each block has three switches. So in Block 1, the first thing we do is ground pin 8. We make pin 8 an output, and we drive it low. Now while pin 8 is grounded, we could read pins 9, pin 10, and pin 11. Now if pin 9 is low, then it will send a value of 1 to the LEDs. That means button number 1 has been pressed. And then it goes into a begin until loop, and it stays in this loop as long as the button is held down. Now as soon as the button is released, it will come out of this loop and run the word kill, and it will shut off all the LEDs. Now if pin 10 went low, then it would send a value 2 to the LEDs, indicating button number 2 has been pressed. It does the same thing. So it reads all three pins, all, all three switches, and then it has to restore pin 8 as an input. So right here it restores pin 8 as an input with a pull-up. Now it could go to block 2. It does the same thing. Now it ground, grounds pin 9 and it reads uh, the three pins and whatever button has been pressed it will send that value to the LEDs. Now I've written a word called Charlie which takes block 1 to block 4 and runs that in a round robin scheme over and over again to decode all 12 switches. Okay, so that's my little tutorial on Charlie Plexing. So if you have a project that involves a lot of push button switches, you could either use a matrix and use the row column way of decoding uh, multiple switches, or you could use Charlie Plexing like I've demonstrated in this video.